for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie and I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. And today we are going to be making sesame chicken. And most of the part is gonna be the sauce in the saucepan and then the chicken part is gonna be made in the air fryer. So we're gonna do a little bit of a combination here and I will show you what I'm going to be using to make the sauce and then we'll get started with the chicken. So while the chicken is cooking, I will um, give you the ingredients and everything that I'm using to make the sauce. So we're gonna get started right away with our chicken and I have everything started already. I have everything prepped and ready over here. And at the end of the video, I will give you kind of like a screenshot of the things that I have ready and lined up here. So. This is just everything right here that we need. I have my chicken ready in my bowl. It is boneless chicken wings. I cut up already. So you're gonna need six boneless chicken wings for this recipe. I already went ahead and put uh, my cornstarch on my chicken. I just didn't mix it up. So I'm gonna give this a good mix and then we will put this in the air fryer. So I'm gonna go over here right now and then just give this a good mix up. Make sure when you're making uh, or coating your chicken, make sure you get the cornstarch all over all the sides. Don't just get um, one side of the chicken. You want it to get all over. So if you can kind of see how it's looking already. So you're going to want to spray down your inside of your basket so that your chicken doesn't stick. I mentioned in some of the other videos that you can put some foil down too if you would like so that you maybe would have less cleanup in here. But you are going to want to maybe poke some holes in your foil just so that the airflow can still uh, get through. So that's what we're going to do with this right now. So just give this a good spray. I'll bring you guys a little bit closer so you can kind of see what I am doing. All right. And if you're making up bigger batches, you're gonna want to um, just cook it separately because you're gonna want, you're not gonna just want to pile a bunch of chicken in there and then you just don't have enough room um, for it to cook all the way through. So make sure when you're putting your batch in that it is um, where it needs to be and not overcrowded. All right, so there you go. That's plenty of room in there for that one batch to fit in there. Go ahead and set your, set your air fryer for 390. We're going to cook it for 12 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll flip it over and then we'll cook it for another 12 minutes. Our chicken is done for the first um, 12 minutes, so now I'm going to flip it and then we are going to cook it for another 12 minutes. While the chicken is cooking, we're gonna get started with the sauce here. So I'm gonna sit and talk through what I'm doing as I go along and I will show you what I'm using um, to make the sauce. So we are going to start with adding um, the soy sauce. So I have one fourth, I have one fourth cup soy sauce. 
two tablespoons of brown sugar. And two tablespoons of orange juice. I have five tablespoons or five teaspoons of poison sauce. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or not, but it is this sauce right here. So you, all you need to do is just mix it all together. So you're going to add that and then we are going to add our ground ginger and that is, let's see, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger and one garlic clove crushed and everything else over here is just going to be our toppings. So I have our green onions and our sesame seeds for later. While you're cooking down the sauce, you're going to be turning it, turning it on a medium heat and you're gonna whisk everything together and um, wait till the brown sugar and everything is dissolved. And once everything is at a low boil, we are going to be adding our cornstarch to thicken it up and just a little bit of cold water. For the sauce today, you can go and buy um, the ground ginger in uh, like just your regular seasoning. I ended up getting regular ginger. We're just gonna cook it down with it in here. And if you don't like the pieces and stuff in there, you can just take that out. So I'm just gonna cook it down and um, just make the sauce the way it is. And then I'm going to be adding the other stuff to it. It takes about five minutes for the sauce to thicken up and then we are going to let it cool for five minutes and then we will tap it on our chicken and add our sesame seed on top. So the chicken is finished and I'm going to plate it up. I just wanted to add that I made my rice in my Instapot and what I do for that is I add three cups of water to two cups of rice. I think I have jasmine rice in there right now and then I use the rice setting and I just let my Instapot cook the way it is. I didn't do the quick release today. I just let it uh, release on its own just because I had time for me to do that. I'm gonna plate up our chicken and I will show you how everything turned out. Did you drop it? Yeah? I brought some snow in the house for Evelyn to play with. So she's getting it all over right now, but just something to keep her busy with. There you go. All right, so my chicken is nice and crispy and I am going to just put it right in my saucepan. So I'm just gonna give everything a good mix. I'm going to top it with some onions and sprinkle on some sesame seeds. And that is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was really quick and easy to do. The main part is like I said, in the saucepan and your chicken is just really easy to cut up and put in your air fryer. 24 minutes at the most. And top it with uh, your sesame seeds and some green onions. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to share this video with family and friends and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,